channel if you're new here my name is louise i'm proud mum to do adult children blossom who doesn't live with us anymore and cory who does and i have two dogs chip and dale who you will hear moving around i apologize if there's some noises coming from upstairs because cory's at the moment like blitzing his bedroom so there may be some creaks from the floorboards so it is now uh, vlogmas 23 yes vlogmas 23 I tried to get a little bit christmasy it's as christmasy as i'm getting today <laughs> So uh, Corey, met, uh, Corey came with me, uh, we went to town at 8 o'clock this morning when uh, Asda opened to get mainly our vegetables. We did a quick blitz of other bits that needed to do and I, like get some bills paid and we did a last minute ditch attempt at trying to find the dogs a toy which has just not really worked out very well this year so they just got what they got. Not that they need any, it's uh, seriously worse than most people's kids, they have so many toys it's ridiculous, they don't actually need any. And Dale just gets a kick in opening presents, he doesn't care if they're his or ours so he'll be helping ours anyway. Mainly got Asda, a little bit of Pound Store and a little bit of Wilco's and that's it, we are done for Christmas, whatever has not been gotten, has, is, that's it, it's done. I mean, if I'm feeling well enough and I want to take a little stroll into town, oh no, I will need to take a stroll into town tomorrow because I do have some things in an Amazon box that should be there by tomorrow. So um, yeah, I might do that, you know, like you do day before Christmas, you might just wander into a shop and come out with something you absolutely do not need. That's entirely possible. That is something I do do. I am known for that. But apart from that, <laughs> like that is not necessary. We've got everything we, we've got now, we're done. So let's get on with today's haul. There is actually four adults staying for dinner. Um, one of them specifically can put their food away quite dramatically. So, <laughs> so there will be a lot of food being cooked, but this is also like bits for next week because I didn't do a proper shop this week for next week. So it's to top it up as well. Onions, love um, roasted onions. Definitely going to have them Christmas Day. They also do cook down quite a lot, so we're probably going to get through at least at least a packet just for Christmas dinner, plus we've got the following week for whatever we're going to cook. Nobody likes Brussels except Blossom, and I don't mind them, so that's just for Blossom and me. Didn't really need that amount of them, but 20p for that packet is really good, can't go wrong. The potatoes actually were not on a deal. Now, I thought they would be, but they weren't. Well, they're cheaper than they usually are. They're 94p. Proper decent potatoes, though. I picked up two packets because we do get through quite a lot for Christmas dinner. The, the roast potatoes, clearly. But Boxing Day, for us, we do do a massive uh, pot of mashed potato. Because that does us all for snack, uh, like for our meal. Plus, like, you know, how I like mashed potato on toast in the morning the following day. So I do do a big big thing of mashed potatoes so i thought i'll pick up two just so we're proper covered the milk's going to go bad soon i haven't bought milk for a week uh gonna do some recipes possibly need that so i actually did pick up a six pint this uh today and the parsnips Corey really loves parsnips i'm you know i'll have one possibly it, it wouldn't bother me if that wasn't on the plate. Corey really, really likes them. I know Blossom likes them. Scott will eat them. So I actually did say to Corey, you know, how many do you think you're going to get through? He's the one who decided three packets. I think it's too much, but that's not an issue. I think that some roast dinner things are going to be eaten on Boxing Day anyway. And anything left over will get put in the freezer ready for the next time we have a roast dinner. So 20p a packet again, can't go wrong. Broccoli again. Christmas dinner, 20p, that's really, really good. They're usually like 49p. I got 12 large eggs, because Scott will have deviled eggs with Christmas dinner. And I'm possibly, not 100%, still not decided what I'm doing, possibly gonna do some cooking. So I thought I'll just pick up a large amount anyway. And they last until the 10th of January, so it's not a big deal. Lemons are mainly for Blossom. She does like lemon water, but I don't... I'm quite partial for a lemon as well. We both... Um, we could eat lemons like an orange, you know? Like, we like lemons that much. So, um, I got the extra posh ones. They're 99p and wax, but they look how good they look. And they're really, really big as well. I was quite impressed with those lemons. Heating again. I got three things of butter. This isn't for my for me for sandwiches and things I actually did get that for the cooking like i said i don't know if i'm doing it or not but it's better to have too much of it than not have enough because clearly i'm not going to go out shopping for stuff like this i'm just not going to and i realized with all the crisps that i have in the house that i actually didn't make sure i had enough of them i do have one bag but i just i don't like i said i don't want to be going out shopping during the week i don't know what work's going to happen like if i'm going back to work or not 
we're just gonna have to play that by ear so I just picked up two waltz was in there anyway I do have a little bit of icing sugar but if I do do this recipe tomorrow I won't have enough they actually didn't have any on the shelf it was really funny because um, Corey asked the uh, employee and they weren't even sure where, <laughs> where the icing sugar was kept if it was with the baking goods or with the sugar but it turns out there was an empty shelf but they were really really lovely one of the ladies actually saw there was some up on the shelf above so they went and got somebody to get it down for us so yes 10 out of 10 for Asda today they did really good if I do do some cooking tomorrow, I would need dark chocolate. These are only 30p. I oh, know they're not cooking chocolate, but it works the same. So yeah, 30p bargain. That's all we actually got in Asda. And that lot came to 16 pounds. But there was, oh, there was actually something in there. Uh, Corey got himself some drinks as well, so. Uh, now this is Wilkinson's. Had to pick up a, a big thing of wrapping paper. This is all I could find. It didn't really matter. This is just for the dog. Um, I bought actually bought him a new bed. He loves unwrapping presents, so I just thought I'd wrap it. I didn't need to, but he's going to really enjoy it. And you know what it's like. Your doggies are like your children. If he's enjoying himself, I'll be enjoying myself. Uh, this was £1.25. And I found these. This is really good. So you get, these are the really soft uh, stick type treats that I get for the dogs anyway. Uh, but normally you get like five for a pound. This is seven for 90p. Really impressed with that one. And I got some hot dogs. I don't usually get this sort of thing for, for my dogs. And I will pace them because I'm going to be very aware of what they're eating and what they're not in. Just in case people decide to try and sneak food to them. Uh, this was £1.80 for four hot dogs. And I'm not going to pick these up just in case they make noises because both the dogs are in the kitchen with me. I actually got this one for Dale because it's that material that won't um, water won't suck it, um, suck into it. And Dale likes to play with balls and stuff on the field and you know where it's wet all the time. I thought that might be just something different. And it's got like the ropey towel, so I should be able to sling it quite well. Hopefully, this was actually supposed to be four pounds. I think it was four pounds. Yeah, just check the receipt just to make sure. This was supposed to be four pounds. Scan through at three. I didn't actually realise till I looked at the receipt when I got back. And this one is for Chip because he likes a lot of these, like the dangly bits. He is the bits he liked. There wasn't an awful lot to choose from, so you know they had to just get what they could get. I couldn't find the type of things I really wanted, and that one was four pounds as well. And then we went into Pound Store. This isn't the one I wanted. I just wanted the plain Epsom salts, but this is fine. It's just a eucalyptus one. It's a pound, as I've mentioned before. Um, this is very good. It gets some, the magnesium straight in, in through your skin. Uh, I won't be bathing with it because I don't like a bath in this house. It's just something about my bath. I don't like it. But I thought I'm going to um, start trying to like soak in my feet in the evening with it. You know, it can't get any worse than it is right now. So, yeah, but that's only a pound. So that's a really good price. They did have Epsom salts right next door to it in a purple packet. And they were like four pounds. But the weight was the same. And it's, it does the same thing. So eucalyptus as well, I quite like that smell. So that's not a bad thing. And I've got three things of turkey for. Now these are way, way better. Like your, this is three meters for a pound and it's three meters for way more than that in, in Asda. I just remember, I can't remember, I can't tell you the exact price in that, but I remember at the time when I originally checked it, it worked out this was way, way better. Now I've got three of them, not for the turkey actually, for, um, I'm going to do, you know, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you know, I've seen this hack, it's supposed to be a hack, like where you put foil over some cardboard and you put it behind your radiator and it's supposed to reflect the heat back into the room. So I'm going to give that a, a go for the living room. I have a load of cardboard in there. Hopefully I'm going to do it tonight or tomorrow. I'll show you it just so you can see what I'm doing and then I can let you know in a week or so if it made a difference or not. Um, but you can buy the already pre-done foil thing is on Amazon and they're like £10 just for one radiator. I have cardboard, I can get cardboard from work, no problems. This works at £3, I probably won't even need that amount. But you know, it's foil, I use it all the time, it's not a biggie. And this is not to do with my shopping haul because I've already bought this a while ago, but I'm just letting you know, like, as soon as the turkey comes out, the freezers just start defrosting. That's how close to Christmas it is. That's my, that starts my sort of excitement that is officially Christmas, even though I'm not really feeling it right now still. So that's all we did today. Uh, come back, had coffee and something to eat because I actually just, like, I literally got up and went straight out because I was a little bit nervous about how busy it was going to get today. Good thing I did as well. We literally, we got into the store. It takes 
10-15 minutes normally at my pace at the moment it's more 20-25 minutes to get there and we literally got in the very first bit they had like all the vegetables right at the front and just was, was just looking up and down the vegetable bit trying to figure out the veggie you would want from just from the front of the store we've not even hit the store all of a sudden there was like rush of people so yeah i'm glad we got there early i can imagine it being really awful up there now unless everybody had the same idea and just thought let's get there early and it might be empty up there now who knows so yeah that's um all i've done today so far i'm going to put this lot away right it's that time of day again it is calendar time not many more of these left i'm gonna be sad when this finishes so we're on the 23rd which is It's the red one again. Did we have the red one yesterday? No, we didn't. Okay, red one is Winter Cherries. A sweet and sugary cherry fragrance with supporting notes of vanilla, juicy berries and soft florals. Twenty-three is a small one on here. It's a green one. Oh. <laughs> It's what we had yesterday isn't it margarita i'm sure it was but this is the small one i think the small ones and the big ones are like different make i think it's still good though i think that's my favorite you know margarita so i had the conversation with corey yesterday and i told him about how i must have been thinking about the pizza and he couldn't think what i was talking about he thought i meant mozzarella and then he had to google it there is margarita pizza, isn't there? <laughs> and the chocolate today we have. Oh my god! <laughs> we got a square! At last we got a square. Okay, I feel better. I've wanted a square. <laughs> so calendar's done for another day. Um I was going I know it's a little bit shorter today. I was gonna record a few more bits, but uh, it's little I've got a lot of little bits and bobs jobs type thing so I'm going to get the coffee table Christmas up I'm going to put the lights up around the, the the lights from the living room that we put up on the wall and I've got all those ones sitting on the floor I got the little um, hooks in the post today so fingers crossed they actually work so I'm going to put them all up tonight as well well, I'm going to put the hooks up. I think Corey's going to try and hook all the lights up for me. Thing, I actually, weird thing is, right, so I ordered these hooks off Amazon, uh, £3.50 for them. When Corey and I were in the pound store earlier, they've got the exact same hooks. They're £3 in there. So I know I can save 50p and I haven't got to wait for delivery. So I did sort of like judge how many I'm going to need and where I need them because there's only 20 in the packet anyway. And I wanted to go the entire length of the room. So I could, could just put them up and then if I need more I can pick some up tomorrow because as I mentioned I've got to pick up the stuff from the Amazon box the fire fake fireplace thingy the um peg thingies that you need for that should be coming in an Amazon box tomorrow no today so I won't be able to pick them up till tomorrow because they've not been delivered yet it says up to nine o'clock and I'm not going up there tonight so I'll pick them up tomorrow so I can get the fireplace sorted so tomorrow will be either finish off with little bits of jobs and I'll show you those or I'm going to be able to finish a lot of the jobs tonight and then I'll still show you tomorrow anyway. Short one today, uh, 23rd. We are definitely completely involved with this for a second year. How exciting is that? I see a lot of um, YouTubers that start it and they don't finish it. So uh, I'm really impressed that I stick with this. This is not... I, I'm not somebody who could stick to... You know, I can't stick to a diet and stuff like that. But I've stuck to these. I'm quite impressed with myself. So 23 done. Uh, tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Oh my God. So um, yes, I will be following Santa. I will keep you updated throughout the day, even though you'll be seeing it in the evening or whatever, you know. Because um, that's what I do. My kids think it's funny because they didn't follow it years ago when I did. <laughs> they just keep popping in the room and I tell them, say, yeah, okay. <laughs> I enjoy it. Um, you know, when I'm trying to force myself to be Christmas Eve. Um, I will do it. Yes, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Vlogmas on 24 hope you're doing okay and you're getting all your little jobs done that you need done and i will see you tomorrow bye